Hi, I'm GeoDog, and in this video, what I'm going to try and do is show what might help if you're using Mixamo Fuse characters with Unreal Engine 4.8. Now, if you're aware, well, if you're watching this, you probably are aware that. Epic, in their wisdom, has changed their basic character or mannequin, whatever you want to call it, from a T pose to a so called A pose. Now, this causes anybody with Miximo and Fuse umpteen problems because. All the characters from Mixamo come with a T pose. Now I've got to have another look at uh, Fuse. Not too sure, but uh, what I have noticed if you put that into the queue and if you go on to original pose and download that. Uh, you get a corrupt file. So we'll just leave it at T pose and we'll go for it. Now, before I go on any further, two pages you are going to need are on the, the Epic Unreal Engine 4 documentation pages you're going to need animation retargeting different skeletons. I'll tell you that now. I know you're going to say, but we've got the same skeleton. Mm, yeah, close. But no cigar. That's right. So I say the reason you're going to need that is because I'm not going to go and cover anything and everything that goes on here. It will help you. It is not perfect and it's going to cause lots and lots of problems but there you go now so you got animation retargeting different skeletons this helps if I scroll down there it tells you about now if you look there the animation start part I'll show you where to get that in a minute and they've got the old T pose and there's a T pose so that's fantastic and great but if when you scroll down and keep going you'll see retargeting a base pose now in our case now using the Mixamo skeletons well the Mixamo Unreal Engine 4 skeletons it's the other way around the Unreal 4 mannequin is in an A pose and the Mixamo mannequin uh, characters are in a T pose so going through this will help you. I, this is what I'm basically going to cover in the video. But this is a, for a, uh, a warning of what you're going to be looking at. Now another thing which will help is if you watch this live, well, recording of a live stream, Unreal Engine support, Runtime animation retargeting live from Epic HQ. Laurent does his best to uh, describe what they do, and something you'll probably have to do with these animations anyway. All right, let's jump in now. Basically, I've downloaded this guy, so we don't need to do that again and I've unpacked it so I'm going to create a new folder UTCH now uh, in that folder I'm going to import uh, UTCH character now I'm going to use set the T away ref poses stop it whinging at me I'm not going to create a physics asset and Everything else is okay. Import all. There we go. 
Bob's your uncle? Maybe not. He is mine. But, uh, this can take a little while depending on the size and amount of textures you have. For people using Fuse and Miximo, you will be quite aware of not all textures that you put out. You think you click on 248 uh, and you think you're going to get a 248 texture. Wrong. The default textures are actually, for, in a lot of cases, 1024s. So whether you want to bung them together into a single texture, that's up to you. But I'm sure you can get around that. If you if you don't know what I'm on about, let us know and I'll see what I can do for information on that side. Now, what we could have done on import is actually selected the mannequin, which I forgot to say. Right, let's just do it again. Right, FBX import. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know. Now. What you could have tried is on the skeleton to import on the UE4 mannequin skeleton. I personally would advise against that. Try it if you want and see what happens. I'm not going to go there. Okay, so I left it at none so that on import it created our own skeleton as you'll see in a moment right now obviously seeing as we've got our own skeleton we cannot use all these lovely animations that epic supplies us why not? because it don't work right, the, uh, the animations have to be linked to the skeleton it's the only way they will work so to get that to work, let's go on to skeleton. There we go. And now please be aware, even though it looks like the skeletal mesh or persona or whatever you want to call it, I we're in the skeleton section. Okay, we're dealing with the actual skeleton and not the mesh. I try to make that important because if you go into mesh, you're like, uh, where's my retargeting? Or you go into animation and you're like, uh, where's my retargeting? It is only available when you're on the skeleton selection. Now, retargeting manager. Uh, what, what we need to do here is set up the rig. Now, because we've already got a Unreal Engine 4 rig, it's all named correctly for us. So we'll go select human, humanoid rig and as you can see here the uh, the nodes and the bone names all match up nice and pretty. You can even go into advance and all the other stuff fits. I don't know what customs for but hey -ho. we'll go back to base. Now what doesn't fit, we could use this at, at the moment, so we just go save, yeah. Now what we could do is, animation start back, yeah. if we've got a run backwards, because yeah. the one I want, the one I like to use for testing, there we go is the jog forward. So what we're going to do is with this set up as it is without any other adjustments I'm going to right click on the jog backwards retarget anima duplicate anim assets retarget yep now we're going to select this in here select the skeleton now that's the source and that's where we want to put it to. Now, as you can see, straight away, just from the pose, it's different, it's wrong. But we're going to go for it anyway. And if we open, and you go, uh, 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 no. 
you can see it's uh, a bit squiffy. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to get away from that. Stop, stop. There we go. Now, to try and get this to a little bit better, let's go to animation, uh, retarget at manager. Don't forget, go make sure you're back into the skeleton section, otherwise, this option doesn't come up. Now, we want to go on to view pose. Now, once we click on view pose, this allows us to edit the uh, the pose it will use when we target it. Now, it doesn't edit it, your actual base pose, but it edits the pose that you will use for retargeting. So what we're going to do is select the upper arm. I'm going to take it down to 50. You might think, why is he picked 50? Because when I first recorded this video, I was messing about and I tried it with the other mannequin and I moved the arms up and it rotated around 50 to get it to the horizontal. So I think that works fine. Now I'm not going to bother tweaking this too much. To be honest, I think uh, the Mixamo people need to update their, their rig for the initial orientations, but hey, you know. All right, once you've got it there, click Save Pose. Now, as you can see, it pops back up into the original T pose. Don't worry about it. All right, just make sure you click Save every now and then. All right, what we're going to do this time is we're going to take Jog Forward Rifle. So I'm going to right click on there, retarget anim asset. Come on. Oh, why is this playing up on me today? Right, there we go. Duplicate anim asset retarget. Now, this time when I click on the CHUT test skeleton, he's in the A pose, what we just saved. Okay? It's not your base pose, it is a pose it's going to use for retargeting purposes. So basically it already knows that I've rotated the arms down 50 degrees. So, we go, yeah, fine. Now believe it or not, I'm not going to do this, but what you could do is go Control A right click, proceed, you should really do this but uh, and, uh, no because I've got ah, right, pe, 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 don't say it geo, right let's try, you go shift, uh, just say for example I've got, uh, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 7, 21 animations there retarget and it will do the whole lot you don't have to do them one at a time okay so select all you're at once you're happy with the retargeting setup you can set the whole lot and retarget them now uh, where was I uh, lost the plot GL yeah okay right jog forward rifle now, as you can see here, when I close in a little bit more, we still got some issues with the rig and everything else. The fact that it's jerking is because I'm recording. Now, what helps on this, yeah, is you go into advanced skeleton. Keep remember skeleton. Advance, show advanced options. You will see here it's all set to animation, right? which is not something you want. Ask Lorian, he knows a lot more about this. So, what we're going to do is control A, 
recursively set translation retargeting skelet to skeleton. I do that, and it looks. What's he doing there? Right, that's because everything translation retargeting is set to skeleton. Now, what we want to do is the root onto animation, the pelvis onto animation. Now we're looking better there. And if we select all the IK and put that onto animation, that pretty much saves the day. It's it's not perfect because you really need to be tweaking it a bit more. But if you watch, uh, there we go. If you watch Lorian here in this video, he goes into it a lot more, and I can't say I understood it fully. <laughs> I'll be honest. But uh, he goes into things like uh, adding a curve where you can adjust the amount of IK that the hands deal with and all the rest of it so you can get the hands to actually fit better. That should help. It's, it's like I said, it's not perfect. It is far from perfect, and to get it a lot better, it needs mix mode to, to address the uh, the rig that they they supply for their content. But when if and when that happens, I've no idea. This should give you a bit bit of a heads up where to go with it. Okay. So that's basically all this is. Then once you're done, make sure you save everything. No, that doesn't save. That saves all there, doesn't it? Yeah. One. Save all. Okay. And once you're happy with that, uh, don't don't forget. You can. Let's see if we go for go for that one. In your advanced options, you may want to change things like the uh, uh, clavicles. Okay, you may want to set that to animation. That might make it a bit easier, or animation scaled, or animation relative. I, I don't know. Uh, that might all help. I think we need a few more videos with more, let's say, game relevant information. Yeah, I would really, really like to see the full content from Fortnite, but there you go. Uh, keep wishing. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. If you got any more questions, or you're stuck with bits, let us know on the forum. Yeah. Let's see. Now, this is the one from started by Conquer Balls. But uh, let, let, let's just see. I'll put that. All right. You can always find me on the forums Unreal Engine. Geodav, either send me a PM, but the best option is at the moment start yourself a thread. Because right, I don't live in the for forums, start a thread, and if I don't pick it up, then somebody else will. And if you really want me, send me a PM, pointing, linking to the thread. Okay. And we'll go with that. And I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, sir. So see you soon. Have fun. Bye-bye now.